Good evening. Welcome to Torah Week Two of the NFL. Saturday night. Figured we would do another. Um, we do a roundup. Try and make this more of a weekly thing. Have my sidekick Damien with me. You want to say hi? Hi. Good. Um, have a full slate of games we're going to go over. Um, and I got lots of notes. So um, you know, I had to had to start using these. You guys that have uh, that are more of a of a certain age, you know, that even though I've really made a lot of big you know, inroads in, in physically transforming myself and turning back the clock, you can't turn the back back the clock on these suckers. Um, between wearing these and mom jeans, I don't wear the mom jeans uh, or, or, or the skinny jeans that, that some, some dudes do. That, and by the way, man buns and, 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 and skinny jeans, man card's gone. Chuck it. These I'll make an exception for. See, I'll pop these on every once in a while. Still self-conscious as heck. Um, funny story, though, uh, about, about you know, looking at the NFL games is I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. And, um, you know, I'm of a certain age, and, and if you are also, you probably remember uh, CBS had their morning show in the 70s and 80s. I uh, had a guy named Jimmy the Greek. He was a really big odds maker. He's uncanny accurate. Um, so I got the I got the nickname from my friends of Jimmy the Geek. Uh, so if you, you wanna you, you wanna use that one, I, I still answer to that with some people. So, um, and I wasn't nearly as good as Jimmy the Greek was for sure. What Damien's good at, besides making a lot of really really uh, funny faces, is an uncanny ability to remember all the stadium names. So we're gonna he's gonna tell us where the games are being played. And, um, and I'll kind of give you some commentary on where I think we're going game-wise. Okay? So the first game we have is the 49ers and the Jets. So the Jets, you know, they're playing in New York. So, so where do the Jets play, Damien? What? MetLife Stadium. That's right, the MetLife Stadium. Well, in this, in this particular game, I mean, the 49ers, 49ers lost a heartbreaking game over in the desert, you know, at Levi. Uh, to to the Cardinals, uh, I think this is a really good snapback game for them, and the Jets really are, like I said in, in, in previous incarnations, that they're they're a dumpster fire. Let's let's be nice about it. Okay, so they're a dumpster fire. Um, so yeah, the Niners this is a perfect bounce back game. Um, we'll call it the self esteem bowl or something. I mean, that's about what it is. All right, so the the Buffalo Bills. Are gonna are gonna head down to uh, Miami and play the Dolphins. What stadium do they play in, Damon? Rock Hard Rock. Hard Rock Stadium. Hard Rock. That's right. It's a good looking stadium, right? Sam Hard yeah. Rock Stadium. That's right. So I, I'm, I'm not I'm not calling the spread, but I'm but I will say the Bills Bills are gonna go are gonna have a pretty good game there. Um, the Dolphins only put up 11 points on on New England, and New England's got a a decent defense, but. Um, or a deep, you know, so they 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 put up eleven points on them. They got a decent defense, but not not a great one. Bills have a really solid defense. Um, what the Bills did though in Week One was they they had a really even though it was against the Jets and, and it was a dumpster fire uh, that they were playing against. They had a really balanced attack. Uh, they Allen threw for three twelve, so they they were very well balanced. They played a really complete game. Um, considering what the Dolphins were able to do. Um, against New England, that this game should be over early. Mm. And if it's not, I'll be very surprised. Mm. Will the Dolphins be good in the future? Absolutely. You know, I, I think maybe even by the end of the season, mm. they're going to be playing some good ball. Right now, they're going to get destroyed. This should be a tough game mm. for them. All right, the Denver Broncos are going to go into Pittsburgh, and they're going mm. to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. And what, what stadium are they going to play in? Heinz Field. Heinz Field. That's awesome. Steelers looked really good against the New York Giants. Uh, they decimated their, uh, on, from a defensive standpoint, they decimated the O-line of, of the Giants. Saquon Barkley, Quadzilla, he only had six yards uh, on 15 carries. Uh, they were in the backfield almost every single. Like they were almost taking the handoff. Um, do I think the Steelers are, are, are Ravens ready? No. It's going to be more of a war than we probably thought. Um, 
and I kind of did say that in the in the in the prediction show, where you know, they might split with the Ravens, and they might. They look really good. Um, see, the Steelers Steelers big there. Um, even a rusty Big Ben, he didn't look rusty. Even a rusty one, he's going to get enough enough points on the board um, to win this one. Falcons and, and the Cowboys. Falcons are going to go play the Dallas Cowboys, and they play in what stadium again? Dallas Cowboys play in what stadium? AT and T Park. AT and T Stadium. AT and T yes. Stadium. Yeah, we also call that Jerry's World. Right? But that's but that's just to be funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, David. So the Cowboys, they need to bounce back. They had a they laid an egg. Um, you know the McCarthy era. They're starting in 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 Dallas. Is mm-hmm. is way too conservative. Kellen Moore is way too conservative. Uh, he got it. He got the first fu- uh, head coach fired, and it might get another one fired mm-hmm. if, if he doesn't take over the the play calling. McCarthy's probably going to have to start doing that, mm-hmm. um, in part or in whole, or they're going to have the most predictable offense in in, in, the, in the entire um, in the entire NFL, and that's not going to be good. Deck Deck Prescott or not, so I, I would say you know. They'll at least be enough to get by the Falcons. Falcons don't have enough of a, of a pass rush. Uh, they don't do that much well. But um, Matt Ryan can, can put up garbage stats all he wants. Through 450 last week, it's not going to be enough. Um, so that'll be the Cowboys. Giants are going into Chicago to play the Bears. In what stadium, then? Soldier Field. Soldier Field, yeah. yeah. Now, you still haven't had a Khalil Mack sign, uh, sighting. You know, I mean, he disappears in every game unless it's on national television. Um, and that Giants O line got destroyed last week. I think the Bears, being a notch or two below where where the Pittsburgh Steelers are defensively, they're still going to just they're going to tune them up in a big way. And so, so that's that's the Bears, um, very easily. Uh, Jaguars are going to go into Tennessee. They're going to go into Nashville, Tennessee, and they're going to play the Titans. And they play in... Nissan. Stam. Stam. Nissan Stam. Stam. Yeah. 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 Exciting yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, all I will say about this game is Derek freaking Henry. Mm-hmm. Game over. Mm-hmm. Jag, Jags have nothing. Um, mm-hmm. They got Minshew, and they got that neat stash, and he, he's probably going to uh, throw for a touchdown or two if, if, they, if he's lucky. You know, the fluke is on, but I—they're I, not going to be that good, damn. damn. Mark, that's funny, damn it. They're not going to be very good, but I, th- I think the Titans are going to, especially after a, a, a close call in Week One. I think they're going to—they're going to—they got chewed a bit, so I think they're going to be out to kick the Jaguars all over the all over the lot. Okay, so the Detroit Lions, choke artists that they were, they literally had the game in the guy's hand at the goal line and dropped it. They're, they're, they, let the, they let the Bears come back, and they made Mitch Trubisky look like, look like Kurt Warner. I, I, I couldn't even believe it. So the Lions are going into, into um, Green Bay to play Packers. And what stadium is that, David? Lamb, Lam- Lambo, Lambo Field, Field, Lambo Field, Lambo Field. That's Lambo right. Field, Lambo Field. And and the Lions D isn't isn't all that good, and and they just can't. They just they just particularly in the third and fourth quarter. They they played well in the beginning of the game, and then they just they just gave it up. And sometimes you just got to learn to win, and they just don't have it. So the Packers, especially the way Rodgers is ascending, mm-hmm. he's he's playing well. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's reacting properly to mm-hmm. to them bringing Jordan Love in, and he's just mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, hold my beer." It's pretty good, pretty good. So Packers are surprising me so far, and they, they should kick the um, the living you know what's out of the Lions. Panthers um, are going to go to play the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay, and they play at what stadium, Damon? Ray, Raymond. 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 James, James Dam. Sam Raymond right. James Dam. That's right. So um, I think Tom Brady's had a had a good week of being chewed out, being embarrassed by his head coach, 
in a very positive way. I think he's very account, uh, accountable for everything. He played a pretty good game except for that pick six, quite frankly. Um, but I think that this is going to be a snarling snap snapback game for Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, as they call them. And I think the Panthers. Panthers are going to play well. They're they're above their skis. I think they're going to get throttled. They're, they're this is going to have every, all the makings of a revenge game. But the Panthers didn't do anything to them. Um, but the Buccaneers are going to come out razor sharp. It would surprise me greatly if they didn't. Rams are going to go into Philadelphia, and they're going to play the Eagles. Damien, where, where do they play? Lincoln Financial Field. That's right. They yeah. do. They do. Now the Rams. One thing about the Rams is, you know, they got they got lucky in Sunday Night Football. But what I will also say, um, or in, in, you know, last in week one, they don't travel well cross country. Um, and I will also say that the Eagles are this is more of a, a, of a must win for the Eagles because if they don't, they go they go down o two, they go to o o and two. That's that's. That's going to be trouble for them, and you know they got themselves a pretty good coach there. So the Eagles will surprise you. They'll they'll come back, and it might be a tight one, but I think they'll throttle the they'll throttle the Rams well enough defensively. Carson Wentz just has to has to throw a lucky pit, a, a lucky TD or or, or two, um, where where one or two offensive plays might make the game, and that's you know that's enough for them. That's a good formula for for the Eagles. And the final early game is the Vikings going into Indianapolis to play the Colts. Where are they playing? Indianapolis? Yeah. Where do they play? Colts. Colts. Lucas. Lucas. Oil. Oil. Stadium. Sam. Yeah. Lucas. Oil. Stadium. That's right. That's right. So, what I will say about them is, is that they... The Colts... The Colts' main problem, they brought in an, inter, an interception machine named Phillip Rivers. But he's also a really good quarterback. He, he, he can move the ball. That, moving the ball has not been the problem. It's, it's the ball security. Um, the Vikings got the Vikings were supposed to have a really elite defense this year. And, you know, you, I, I, that's, what, that's what I was seeing anyway. And maybe it's just one week. They got kicked around. They got completely exposed last year, uh, last last week by, by Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers could just be at a career clip, and he's just taken it to another level. Or the Vikings have some problems, and we're gonna we're gonna see with this game. But I I'm, I'm gonna take the Colts in this one. So we go to the three late games, um, the three you know four four thirty games, and we have the the Chiefs. Uh, playing against the Chargers. So they're going to go into L.A. to play the Chargers. Where do they play? So. So. B. So Fi. So Fi. So Fi Stadium. So Fi Sam. That's right. They play. So Fi play Sam. They play at So Fi Stadium. That's exactly so right. So Fi Sam because. Well, the problem is, is that. The only problem for the Chargers playing at So Fi Stadium is that they're actually going to play in the game. That's going to be the entire problem for them. Um, they're gonna get blown out. Um, this is a team that can play. They can. They can score 15 points a game if they're lucky. Tyrod Taylor is really best best utilized as a backup or as a starting quarterback in the in the Canadian Football League. Um, yeah, they they they're they're not very good. Um, Chiefs gonna win big. Um, you could see Mahomes out of the game by the fourth quarter. This could be a really big game. Chargers have a credible D. But if the Chiefs are, if the Chiefs are walking or are, are, are going at it full bore, game over. It's gonna be it's gonna be ugly. Ravens are gonna go to Houston and they're gonna play the Texans. Who, who plays in Houston? Where where do they play in Houston? NRG Stadium. NRG Stadium. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, Ravens are looking good. The Texas the Texans D is probably better than expected. Um, but this is the Ravens, and, and there are so many so many matchup problems that that I, I don't see. I don't give the Texans very much chance. This is at least a a two a two touchdown win for for the Ravens. And then the final three, uh, mm-hmm. final of the third game, is um, the Washington Fighting Ron Rivera's. They need a name. 
I want to keep calling him the Redskins, but Ron Rivera said no, so I'm, I'm going to honor his wishes. So the, the fighting Ron Rivera is going to go up against the Cardinals. Now the Redskins beat the Eagles on the back of short fields. They, they up two or three scores in the second half, but they were short fields. Their offense didn't move the ball very well at all. I don't give them a chance in the desert against the Cardinals. Cardinals are going to take this one. And, and um, you know, their their offense will be good, but it, but but not yet. It's going to take a while. Okay? Sunday night game, we've got the Patriots going to Seattle to play the Seahawks. And where do they play? Century Link Field. That's right. And by the way, where do the Arizona Cardinals play? University, University of, of Phoenix. Phoenix. That's Field. right. That's right. Phoenix so this Field. so the Seahawks. Uh, Russell Wilson. Russ is basically what what Cam used to be, and then some. So um, Russ just thirty one of thirty five. I mean, he was ridiculous in the, game, in, in the first game, and this is what's going to happen. And then Monday night, this is this this might surprise you. The Saints are going to go to play the Raiders, the you know, Raiders in Las Vegas, and they play at. Allegiant Stadium. Right? Allegiant Stadium. Yeah. Um, Stadium. I will say this: the the secondary had to make some adjustments, and they have. And Drew Brees did not have that good of a game in in game one. So I give them a chance. I give them a chance. I, I'm going to call the Raiders on this one. So enjoy the games tomorrow, Damien. Say bye. Bye. Peace out, me bye. homies. Take care, guys.